So a couple days ago, someone commented on a video, I don't remember which one it was, um, that I should make a math major mathematician stereotypes video. So I thought that was funny and interesting. So I wrote some stuff down and decided to make a video about it. So a lot of this is largely anecdotal and you know, it might vary from university to university or region to region or whatever. So it's anecdotal, but a lot of it I'm pulling from like pop culture since it seems to be the age of the nerd with shows like Numbers and The Big Bang Theory and lots of high grossing movies about mathematicians like A Beautiful Mind, um, the one with Benedict Cumberbatch. What was that one called? Oh, I can't remember, but I loved it. Anyways, so I've compiled a bit of a list of things which seem to be stereotypical math people things and are just kind of nerdy things in general. I think a lot of people would find those to be kind of synonymous for the most part. So first one, we do math for fun in our spare time. By and large, no. I do from time to time. I like geometric puzzles and like given a bunch of shapes that overlapped in different ways, finding areas or lengths of things. There's a Twitter, there's a woman um, who runs a Twitter page. I can't remember her name right now but she posts them like almost every day, geometric puzzles. And I think those are really interesting, they're fun. But otherwise, no. For me, that's probably 50% because I don't have the time to do that and 50% because it just it's not something I wanna do. Um, I would generically find it enjoyable, sure, but there are other things I also find enjoyable that don't involve what consumes most of my life and time right now, which is math. I also don't know anyone else who does that. I don't think that's a very common thing because Generally, we're spending so much time doing it in school and everything else and studying and whatnot that we just, by the end of the day, we wanna do something else. So perhaps that'll change when I'm a professional and I'm not in school and doing hours and hours and hours of homework. I might get back into that at some point to some degree, but right now, no. I don't do it and I don't know anyone who does. Number two, we're all geniuses and math is easy for us. Definitely no. It's gonna be a big N-O for me, dog. Math is not easy for me. I'm, I'm perfectly average. My grades are very average, you know, less than fantastic if we're being honest. I know a few people for whom math comes really easily, but that's one or two people out of all the math majors I know, which is a lot of them. Not that there's a ton at USF to begin with. There's like 120 or 130 of us, if that. I think there might actually be considerably less than that. But anyhow, by and large, all the, the math majors that I know, math is not easy for them and we spend a lot of time trying to conquer this stuff and wrap our heads around it and, and digest it. So no, we're all a very average intelligence and we just work very hard. Three, we're not socially adept, we're loners, etc. Also a big N-O, that's not the case. You know, as a consequence of studying math, we have to spend a lot of time doing math, so in our, offices or in, in study halls or wherever else. And that means I don't have time to get out and do fun stuff that I like. That's not because I don't like going out and doing stuff on the weekends or whatever, or enjoy being hanging out with other people. It's just because I don't have the time. So it's just, that's really just a byproduct of what I'm studying and it's not a personality trait. And I think that goes for all of the people that I know as well. We all like to get out and do things, go to concerts, go to other, uh, public events, festivals, movies, whatever. All the things normal people do. We do those too when we have the time, which is not very often. We're all a bunch of white guys. As far as USF goes, it's probably, I don't know the numbers exactly. I don't know if these stats exist or if they do, they're not you know, accessible to me readily. Anecdotally, I think we're split about 50-50 between guys and girls. There might be a slightly more girls actually now that I think about it. But it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty even. And as far as USF goes, there's not a lot of ethnic or international students that I know of. There, there's a handful, two or three. It's a lot of white people at USF, but it's, it's split half and half between girls and guys as far as I'm concerned. We have a superiority complex when it comes to comparing our major to other ones. Yeah, this one's gonna be true to some degree or another. I mean, math is objectively difficult. It has one of the highest college major attrition rates, which means more people drop out of a math major and switch to something else more than almost any other major. Me personally, I would put math, engineering, and physics on pretty equal playing field. They're kind of different. 
they're kind of di challenging for different reasons, but I think they're all about equally challenging overall. So yeah, when I hear someone complain about like a humanities course being difficult or having to write a paper, I just want to be like, boo hoo. It's not hard. I mean, it's, it can be difficult. I'm not saying it's not. I've had difficulties in, in non-STEM courses for sure, but it's just not the same. Math requirements like attention to detail and logic bleed into the rest of our lives. Uh, no, because math logic is a very, very particular thing. It's, it of course involves critical thinking and as you're writing logical statements, making sure they're, they're true and, and proof writing and making sure one statement follows from another and you reach a logical conclusion that supports what you're trying to prove and not using fallacies and a, a, any other type of thing. No, I wouldn't say that really directly bleeds into the rest of my life because it's very, very particular to high level math and, and theoretical stuff like this that's very abstract. I don't find that studying math makes me more particular about organization or how I do other things. I mean, maybe when it comes to balancing my checkbook and, and budgeting my finances and stuff, I have a lot of attention to detail, but that's also math. So, but I mean, the rest of my life, no, I'm kind of a messy person. And as far as I know, of all the of all the math majors I know, we're not we're not particularly like anal retentive or super duper particular about things or like just extremely detail-oriented people. I just don't really think that's a thing. We're into other stereotype, stereotypical nerd stuff like anime, comic books, technology, strategic hobby games like chess, etc. I'm gonna say, yep, yeah, that's a that's a soft yes. I know a lot of a lot of math majors who are into anime, comic books, Pokemon, video games, technology. Generally speaking, a lot of me and my math major friends will play chess in our downtime. We have a chess set in our what we call our math dungeon. It's our study room that basically only us use, only we use. So yeah, that's kind of a yes. Couldn't tell you why that is. It's interesting, but yeah, a lot of us, not really me included, but a lot of us are, are into anime and you know, other type of nerdy culture. And lastly, math, memes, puns, and jokes make their way into our conversation regularly. No, they don't. We have plenty of other funny stuff to talk about, like our professors and just other goings on in life or on campus or whatever whatever's going on in our personal lives. Now we don't really make math jokes. None of us find those especially funny. I mean, I follow some the math meme page on Reddit, which makes me chuckle sometimes, and I've even posted on there once, which wasn't really a meme. It was just like a statement of fact in the form of a Venn diagram and some set notation. But no, we don't. We're not making math puns. It's mm -mm. no. It's just not. It's not funny. I mean, obviously we enjoy math. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing it. But it's not. It's not humorous to us. If that makes any sense. I think that about covers it. Those are all pretty pretty far-reaching and, and broad kind of statements and stereotypes to make, but generally speaking, we're pretty normal. We're not geniuses. We have personal lives and hobbies that don't revolve around math. I'm into creative writing, painting, chess, um, making YouTube content, you know, skateboarding around my neighborhood. We're, we, you know, we have normal lives. We're normal people of normal intelligence. We just happen to like math enough to major in it and make a profession out of it. So yeah, that's all I got. Hopefully this was interesting or humorous for some of you, but otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.